Article databases can be found a number of ways on the library homepage. If you know the title of a database, you can select it from the alphabetic list in the Databases and Journals box in the lower left-hand corner of the library homepage. Articles can also be found using the combined search or the Articles and More search. The best resource to help you decide which databases to use is a subject guide, where subject-specific resources have been organized by subject librarians. For our sample topic on social networking, we'll select communications from the list of subject guides. Mouse over the I to find out what is included in each database. Click on the question mark for a tutorial. If the subject guide offers a search box at the top of the database list, you can click the boxes next to the databases you wish to include and put your search statement in either the basic or advanced search boxes. This search will give you an overview of what is available for your research topic. For more in-depth searching and to take advantage of each database's search capability, we recommend clicking directly on the database title that you want to search. The library has a variety of databases, and although they may look different, there are certain features they have in common. We are going to look at Communications and Mass Media Complete, EBSCO, Research Library, ProQuest, and Social Science Collection, CSA. You may already be familiar with EBSCO database searching. Although CSA and ProQuest look different, you will see that you can effectively search each of them and other databases when you understand what to look for. Each has a basic or quick and advanced search options to enter your search statement. All databases sort the information about articles by fields, such as author, title, abstract, subject, etc. Next to the search box, you will often see a drop-down box so you can choose which fields you want your keywords searched in. Field choices will differ in each database. Many databases have a way to select additional databases so you can search multiple databases at the same time. Most databases give you the opportunity to sign up for an account so you can recall your searches and receive alerts on new articles on your topic. Note the limiting options each database offers. Some of the most common ways to limit a search are by date and article type. Another useful limiter is peer-reviewed status. Most databases will also give you additional search options. For example, thesaurus or subject searching may be available. Let's use the advanced search option in the Social Science Collection, CSA, to enter the search statement on social networking. We are selecting AB Abstract in the pull-down box to the right so our words and phrases will appear in the summary or abstract of the articles. Now look at the abstracts of each article and determine their relevance to your research. Click on the title of each article to view the abstract or click on the abstract icon. Read through a few of the abstracts to see if the articles are relevant. Look at the article subjects. These will give you ideas on how you could revise your search statement. If your search returns too few results, use fewer keywords and more general keywords when searching your topic. If your search returns too many results, you could and in another concept, change the field you want your words to be searched in, or limit results to more recent articles. You can limit your search results to peer-reviewed articles. Databases may have additional unique ways to help you narrow the result. Use the search history to review and redo previous searches. Note the articles which are available in full text. From this HTML view, the PDF version is also available. To access the full text of the other articles, click on Get It at BYU. Remember, the Get It at BYU link connects to the Journal Finder and ways to retrieve the article. Links may take you directly to the full text. Or, you will see a journal website where you will click on the correct volume and issue for your article. Some journals are available only in print. The library catalog record will indicate the location and call number of these journals. If you find the full text is not available through BYU, remember, you can make a request through Interlibrary Loan. Although most requests are filled in three working days, plan ahead and don't leave your research to the last minute. As you recall, in EBSCO databases you click Add to Folder and use the Folder view to indicate the articles you want to print, save, email, or export. In CSA and many other databases, you check the boxes next to the relevant articles you have found. Then you will go to your Marked Records or My Research link. Don't be afraid to change your terms if you are getting too many or too few results. 
remember to ask for help if you have trouble getting results. Remember, academic research is often interdisciplinary. Think of which disciplines might contribute to the discussion of your topic and conduct your search using databases from each one. <laughs>